picture this it's a pivotal moment in life and you stand at a crossroad with an ample of paths stretching before you each one holds promises and uncertainties tugging at your heart and mind we've all been there the exhilarating thrill of making life altering decisions today as i stand before you i invite you all to join on a deeply personal journey through the highs and lows of my own life experiences starting from the daunting choice of college to navigating the twist and turns that led to a career of my dreams this is a story that highlights the invaluable lessons that i've learned about the art of making confident decisions so fast in your seat belts because together we are about to explore the power of choosing with conviction and forging a path that lights up our souls welcome to the extraordinary expedition of the dilemma of choices people say that once we graduate from our school there is a sprout of maturity in an individual that statement is absolutely true because we take more responsibilities like managing our food expenses and other needs i personally felt that responsibility knocking when the day to nift counseling was approaching my entire family and i were juggling to choose between nift chennai and nift bangalore that choice was very tough to make and the funny part was that until then i thought the naming reaction reactions from organic chemistry was the toughest multiple choice i would ever make agree i mean imagine your answers to be finkelstein reaction or friedel crafts reaction anyways reality seemed much more harsher in terms of decisions to make my elder sister wanted me to choose chennai because she lives there and i wanted to choose bangalore because like every other teenage kid who chooses a city for college wants to go far from their parents i convinced my sister so hard and i had a worthy point in convincing her that i would gain a lot of exposure in being independent she was convinced and just 5 minutes before my turn to choose she completely changed her mind that 5 minutes seemed to be like a blessing and i was really excited about college little did i know that taking responsibilities and the same exposure that i wanted would be so hard to face 36 new faces on the first day of college and all of them were from different parts of india as it's a national institute i found it very difficult to mingle with any of them especially for the fact that i did not understand hindi i hardly had any friends in college and as a whole bangalore wasn't welcoming either the pg i stayed in provided food that was not to my taste there have been so many days i used to skip lunch because of this and i did not have the sufficient money to eat anything outside you wouldn't believe but i survived the entire first semester of college because of a friend of mine from school with whom i used to speak almost every day about my day i look back to the counseling day when i badly wanted to choose bangalore over chennai at that moment i felt like chennai could have been a better choice because i would have had some homely food i wouldn't have become homesick nor would i have faced the problem of language barriers but the moment you turn back or think that you've chosen a wrong path you lose your inner peace don't you a rather wise way is to face your struggles with courage and it takes a lot of courage to do so it took me 3 months to gather that courage where i started to face the situation rather than whining about it i invested my loan time in doing a few part time jobs to provide myself some money i earned some good amounts and even a, i even bought a phone that i always dreamt for i tried to mingle among my peers in college but it was very challenging and i clearly felt like i did not fit in so post college i used to connect with my school friends on discord and used to play multiplayer games all night i used to meet some of them who stayed in and around bangalore on the weekends i felt the change that i always needed and things were way better than how it used to be at the beginning but it felt like it wasn't quite enough in comparison to every other people at college i felt like i did not have a social life at all and while i was in this process of facing my struggles we all saw the rise of covid-19 and it took 2 years of my college life that 2 years was very peaceful and my inner introverted self was very happy more importantly it gave me a lot of time to think how i wanted to be when things are back to normal again and when this 2 years got over it went like a blink of an eye and when it was time to go back to college post reality 
it felt like i would be facing monday morning blues throughout the entire one semester one year left for college i stepped in as a super senior at college but this time i decided to be a little more interactive and to come out of my shell i decided to put myself first in terms of having fun for the only year left for my college life eventually it turned out to be a super strong bond with some of my juniors which i never thought would happen in my entire college life that one year had filled me with memories like theme parks concerts restaurants 1am walks movie nights and what not today if anybody asks me to sum up my entire college life i couldn't think of anything rather than the past one year now when i think about myself who thought i had taken a wrong decision about choosing bangalore over chennai it feels very foolish because it was me who never took any efforts to make the situation better and decided upon to blame the decision i took now diving into academics as i said i was initially happy for the lockdown until i had to choose a deepening specialization so to be precise a deepening specialization is something like how we choose our stream in our class 11th i had two options to choose from one was management and the other was product development while management deals with back end and coding product development deals with stitching garment construction and bulk manufacturing processes i knew for sure i wanted to choose management because i was so poor at the other ds which had stitching that i barely passed my previous semesters with it but life had other plans when i chose my priority over an online portal the server crashed and i was automatically allotted with product development i felt like that kid in school who badly wanted to do commerce over science just because of the fact that physics has a lot of derivations but unfortunately got stuck with that same subject for another 2 years I wrote a hundred emails to almost every person in par to change my specialization, but nothing worked. A day before my fifth semester started, I got a call from my mentor, who was also my product development teacher, and she uttered these exact same words: "Rohit, please make up your mind. You are going to do product development." And I said, "Ma'am, you of all people exactly know how poor I am at that subject." and you still expect it, expect me to do that and she said i have no other choice like how in schools the strict test uh, teachers would handle the toughest subjects no don't imagine your max teachers okay my mentor slash professor was not an ex- uh, was not an exception i mean she used to have excel sheets could you believe she used to have excel sheets to highlight the continuous progress like this person has completed stitching this part on this date and if she feels like that progress is good she used to highlight that cell in green color and guess what my name throughout the entire semester 3 and 4 was highlighted in red that was because i could understand only the first 15 minutes of the online class which was spent for attendance and then when she asked when she used to call for continuous evaluation like rohit are you there mam 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 ma- ma- technical technical issue mam <laughs> so my marks would be quite contradictory when she handled me for the fourth semester because she handled me for two subjects one was theory and the other was stitching while in theory i managed to score 59 on 60 i scored 30 on 60 for the stitching one now imagining the fact that she would handle me stitching for another three semesters i was lost and scared again but this made me realize that although we plan the course of our life into a specific direction life could sometimes surprise us by dragging us into a diametrically opposite path hence this choice of product development unwillingly turned out to be my choice and this is where i decided to be confident about it 3 semesters later with an average cgpa of 8.5 i had 6 garments under my name all because of my utter dedication towards the subject i was weak at oh wait 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 i was kidding it was because my friends stitched them for me and in return i did the assignments of other subjects for her it was like a symbiotic relationship with mutual benefits but the whole point is no matter how hard the situation might turn out to be we find a way to get through it don't we we just have to be confident throughout the process and that's exactly what i did and that's exactly what the situation i was in taught me now after successfully surviving till the 7th semester of college it was time for placements a big step into the career 
one rule of the placement committee was that if an individual is placed with an organization then he or she is ruled out of the placements i was very happy with this rule because this time i didn't have to make a choice but again life had other plans i got placed in a company in located in jordan uae through placements and at the same time i got a pre placement offer letter from the organization i was carrying out my graduation project as a fulfillment for my academic degree i could now say that this was the toughest decision i ever had to make and it took me a whooping time of 2 weeks to come up with an answer i made charts that analyzed the pros and cons of working at each of the places i asked for suggestions from friends family and seniors and i sat in a corner and contemplated how life would turn out to be if i had chosen either of the options while the option at jordan was quite tempting in terms of pay the exposure to a new country and employee perks like free food and accommodation what the other organization offered was a great team a good work life balance and the freedom to express myself hence out of the two options i had nothing seemed to be a perfect one because i had to sacrifice something if i had to choose either of them finally i decided to turn down my offer at jordan and accept my pre placement offer it was a very thoughtful decision and considering all aspects i thought this is where my life would be happy even at a comparatively low paycheck i felt like it's more worthy to sacrifice money than to sacrifice my time with all the money It's been 3 months since my career has begun and now I feel extremely happy in terms of how I lead my life. I've turned to a healthy lifestyle. I regularly take part in fitness programs and I have the freedom of will which I felt like was missing at my offer at Jordan. Today I even face a little uh, struggles like managing the expenses but never have I ever looked back or had a slightest of doubt that i could have been happier had i taken the alternate offer now approaching to the end of my talk i had discussed about three scenarios above number one while choosing college sometimes the path that you take with full confidence might be filled with challenges and obstacles whether we anticipate that or not it's important to give your best and try to eliminate those challenges on your way and even if things don't go our way it is very important to cling on to the hope that some day things will be better and eventually it will be if you don't stop trying number 2 when i did not get my ds when life forces you into a path that you never intended to step a foot at always remember everything happens for a reason grieving over an unfulfilled desire is like protesting against this universe it's like a sort of disobedience that will make the matters worse instead accepting the hurdles in front of you and turning them into opportunities will determine how strong of a person you are and number 3 is about sacrifice when you have paths which are equally good enough that you find it difficult to choose always remember to analyze the gains and sacrifices that lie with each of the paths once you analyze them provide a weightage to those gains and sacrifices that way you will contemplate how your journey would turn out to be and the most important thing is that in whatever decisions that you take in whichever scenario that is never look back or think you'd have been happier had you taken an alternative path you rejected the alternative path for a reason and the green grass is always green at the opposite instead focus on the goals and the future at your hands thank you for the opportunity and it's rohit signing off